Hello, uh, the topic of this video is uh, the armor of God. And uh, the armor of God can be found in uh, Ephesians chapter 6. And uh, people think that there's only six pieces of armor, but there's actually seven. Seven. We, we know God loves seven. The number of completion, the number uh, known as the, the Sabbath and uh, the seventh day. And uh, so let me read, read this uh, Ephesians chapter 6, and I'll comment along the way. But again, it's... Uh, in Ephesians chapter 6, the armor of God. Uh, Finally, be strong in the Lord and, and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Okay, so uh, having girded your loins with truth, right? So that's the first one, the loins of truth. And remember, through the loins of Abraham, all nations will be blessed. That's the gospel message about Jesus Christ. So in, in these seven pieces of armor, you actually have the full gospel message, which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. And these hidden things like this, you'll see in my videos, I like to bring out these hidden you know, uh, things that people overlook. Uh, but it shows you, it proves, it's more proof that this is the word of God. Because, you know, humans, you know, could have never, you know, figured this stuff out, you know, as far as, uh, as far as this goes. So there's lots of treasure in, uh, in my upcoming videos, things that uh, you never heard of before. Uh, let me see here. So you got the, uh, the loins of truth. And then it says the next piece of armor is, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Now the breastplate is your is your chest and what's beneath your you know your chest is your heart so as to when you hear the gospel message it's planted in your heart right the gospel message so under the breastplate of righteousness and the next one is and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace so once you hear the gospel and it's in your heart you share it right you share it the feet of gospel of peace okay and this says in addition to all taking up the shield of faith which is able to extinguish all the flaming missiles of the evil one. And I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible. Anyway, uh, so once you're telling others about Jesus, you're sharing the gospel. Now your faith, your faith is uh, increasing. Uh, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Right? That's Romans uh, ten seventeen. Okay. So, and then the next piece of armor is and take take the helmet of salvation, which uh, the helmet of salvation. So the helmet, and then, you know, when you're saved, when you're saved, you know, mind games will come in, right? Mind games are going to start, start doubting yourself and whatever you do. I mean, um, but the helmet of salvation protects you from the mind games. And the next, the next piece of armor is the sword of the spirit, right? The sword of the spirit, right, is the word of God, right? The word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, right? Hebrews uh, 4.12, right? The word of God. The sword, the sword of the spirit. So you need to know your word. You need to be in your in the scripture. Um, and then, you know, so that's the last one. Not the last one, the second last one. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And then here's the seventh one that everybody forgets, right? The seventh one. With all prayer and petition, pray at all times in the spirit. And with this in view, be on the alert. With all perseverance and petition for all the saints. Right? So prayer is the seventh one. Without prayer, this armor is 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 worthless, right? Without prayer, uh, the prayer, it, it, I guess you can kind of say it kind of activates the armor. So we need to be in prayer, in relationship with the Lord, right? We talk to the Lord through prayer, right? And he talks to us, you know, through, you know, through his Holy Spirit, obviously, you know, in our hearts, but also through his word, right? So you need communication for a relationship, right? So pray, you know, pray. And I'll read his word, right? Okay, so that's a nice short video there on uh, the armor, the armor of God, right, from Ephesians six, and uh, it's actually the gospel message. Seven piece pieces of armor, seven piece armor, right? You can even spell that as P E A C E, piece, right? Uh, but seven piece of seven piece armor, gospel, right? Uh, anyway, uh, hallelujah.